वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम सिक्स डैश एटी फोर सो स्टेटमेंट इज इफ इंटेंसिटी ऑफ लोड डब्ल्यू इज इक्वल टू फिफ्टीन किलो न्यूटन पर मीटर डिटरमाइन द एब्सोलूट मैक्सिमम टेंसाइल एंड कंप्रेसिव स्ट्रेस इन द बीम सो दिस इज द क्रॉस सेक्शन ऑफ बीम दैट इज ट्राइंगर हैविंग बेस इज वन फिफ्टी मिलीमीटर एंड हाइट इज थ्री हंड्रेड मिलीमीटर एंड द लेंथ ऑफ दिस बीम इज सिक्स मीटर एंड दैट इज एक्टेड अपॉन बाई यूनिफॉर्मली डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड लोड ऑफ डब्ल्यू विच इज़ फिफ्टीन किलो न्यूटन इन टू किलो न्यूटन पर मीटर सो वट वी हैव टू फाइंड द मैक्सिमम टेंसाइल स्ट्रेस एंड मैक्सिमम कंप्रेसिव स्ट्रेस सो लेट स्टार्ट विद द सोल्यूशन एज वी नो दैट मैक्सिमम स्ट्रेस इज गिवन बाई फार्मूला मैक्सिमम मूमेंट इन टू सी डिवाइड बाई आई सो फॉर दैट वी हैव टू फाइंड द मैक्सिमम मूमेंट बाई यूजिंग द शेयर फोर्स एंड बेंडिंग मूमेंट डाइग्राम सो फर्स्ट स्टेप विल बी दैट इफ यू रिमूव द सपोर्ट एट पॉइंट पिन सपोर्ट एट पॉइंट ए सो डेफिनेटली यू हैव अ रिएक्शन फोर्स दैट इज आर ए एंड इफ यू रिमूव दिस फोर्स रोलर सपोर्ट एट पॉइंट बी सो देर विल बी अ रिएक्शन फोर्स एट विच इज आर बी and if you convert this w into a point load so this will be equal to this will be the point load and this point load which is 15 into total length is 6 and that will be equal to 90 kilo newton and that will be acting at a distance of 3 meter from the mid so this is 3 meter and this is also 3 meter okay so we will apply equation of equilibrium the first equation of equilibrium is that sum of all movement about point b is equal to 0 and taking the counter clockwise movement as positive now you can see about point b one movement is r a and perpendicular distance is 6 and that is clockwise so it will be negative the second movement will be this 90 into perpendicular distance is 3 and that will be counter clockwise so it will be plus so their sum must be equal to 0 so i will write r a into perpendicular distance is 6 so 6 r a and it will be minus plus 90 into perpendicular distance which is 3 is equal to 0 so when you solve this you will get r a will be equal to 45 kilo newton same you can find r b by using another equilibrium condition that sum of all forces along y direction is equal to 0 and taking the upward force as positive so three forces r a plus r b minus 90 r a is this one r b is this one and that is minus 90 is their sum must be equal to 0 and r a you know that is 45 plus r b Minus ninety is equal to zero. So from here you will get R B will be also equal to forty five kilo newton. Now you have both the forces R A and R B. So you can just uh, you can uh, you can draw the shear force and bending moment diagram. So let draw let's draw it. So if I draw the vertical line from the end of this beam, so this will be the vertical line, and first we will draw the shear force. So shear force V will be in kilo newton, and X will show you the length in meter. Now at point A we have R A, which is forty five kilo newton. So we will take it forty five. for that i will need scale so let this is 25 kilo newton this is 45 uh, sorry 50 so 45 point will be somewhere here now moving from r a till r b you have a load which is w and this w is equal to 15 so 15 multiplied by total length which is 6 will give you 90 but that will be minus because this load is downward you can see so 45 minus 90 will give you minus 45 at the end so i will also draw this for minus 45 will be somewhere here clear and you can see that since the 
this load is horizontal load with zero degree so bending uh, so shear force will be one degree higher and it will be straight line but slope will be decreasing and again you can see at the end you have rb is equal to 45 kilo newton plus so minus 45 is this plus 45 will bring it to zero so this is the shear force diagram now we will move toward bending moment diagram and for bending moment diagram again there is a horizontal line and x will show you meter and this moment will be equal to kilo newton into meter now the first area under the shear force diagram is this one and this is triangular so its area will be equal to half of base is 3 meter you can see this is 3 meter so 3 into height is 45 so when you calculate it you will get this area comes out to be 67.5 so we will look at 67.5 let this is 50 this is 100 so 67.5 will be somewhere here there now you can see that the shear force is a, a straight line with one degree and that is decreasing so bending movement will be one degree higher it will be second degree curve and thus it will be in clockwise direction and this value is 67.5 now the second area under the shear force is this one and it is the same and but this is minus 1 over 2 into 3 multiplied by minus 45 and it will give you minus 67.5 so plus 67.5 and minus 67.5 will bring it to zero so at the end we will have a moment will be equal to zero and again this will be a second degree curve and it will be like this now from this bending moment diagram moment diagram we have maximum bending moment which is m maximum is equal to 67.5 kilo newton into meter so we will use this in our equation and the equation was we know that maximum stress is equal to m into c divided by i so we have maximum bending moment we do not have i so if we, it is given that this uh, cross section is triangular and this base was 150 millimeter and height is this height is given as 300 millimeter 300 millimeter so i for this rectangular cross section is given by formula that is 1 over 36 multiply by base into height cube so 1 over 36 base is equal to 150 millimeter so in meter it will be 0 0.150 and height will be equal to 300 millimeter so it will be 0 0.300 whole cube so this will be the i if you calculate it it will be 0 0.1125 into 10 to power minus 3 meter power 4 and what will be the location of its neutral axis so neutral axis will be this one and that will be equal to this is h height so this distance will be equal to total height divided by 3 which is equal to 100 millimeter from this base and the remaining this portion is 200 millimeter and that is 2 h by 3 so if you put h is equal to 200 you will get 200 millimeter now we have i about neutral axis this was your neutral axis we will find maximum stress for tension so you can see that if you applied this load so the beam will uh, bend like this clear so the up top will one will be in tension while bottom will be in compression so maximum stress 
into C divided by I. So here maximum bending stress is 67.5 kN, so 67.5 into 10 to the power 3 and C will be 200 mm for the top. Clear? That will be in tension. So C is 200 mm, so in meter it will be 0 0.2 divided by the moment of inertia which is 0 0.1125 into 10 to the power minus 3. So when you, uh, sorry, the upper one, this one will be in compression because the upper one is will be in compression. You can see that just take it, this upper portion will be in compression and the lower portion will be in tension. So kindly make this correction. Okay. So when you calculate it, it will be equal to 120 mega Pascal and that upper that will be in compression I already written over here now uh, maximum bending stress for tension is equal to m maximum bending moment which is again 67.5 into 10 to the power 3 and what about c so since this lower portion this lower portion is from neutral axis is at a distance of 0 0.1 meter so I will take this C is 0 0.1 divided by the I which is 0 0.1125 into 10 to the power minus 3. So when you calculate it you will get that is equal to 60 mega Pascal. Okay. So at the end the maximum bending stress compression is 120 mega Pascal and maximum bending stress in tension is equal to 60 mega pascal so this is the answer of our this question number 6.84 i hope you have enjoyed this video in our next video that is about 6.6-85 we will not use this shear force and bending moment diagram instead we will use their equation and then we will solve that uh, problem. So you will also learn without drawing the shear force and bending moment diagram how you will calculate the maximum bending moment. I hope you have enjoyed this video and again if you are new to my channel then subscribe it and press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest video. If you have any question you can ask me in comment section. Thank you for watching.